In an industry that tends to glamorize what we see on TV, hiding all the blemishes and flaws that make a person human, Kate Winslet is the change everyone's been waiting for. But it hasn't been an easy fight. For her explosive comeback in Mayor of Eastwood, Kate has had to battle it out with editors who were blurring her wrinkles and changing her body on screen. I loved her marks and her scars and her faults and her flaws and the fact that she has no off switch, no stop button. She just knows go. When it comes to body image, Kate wants nothing but to create a healthy and honest perception, and she'll do whatever it takes to make it happen. Before we jump in to why Kate Winslet has the Twitterverse shaking in adoration, make sure you take a second to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button to get the hottest celebrity news when we dish it out. Winslet sent Twitter into a frenzy by remaining authentic and bearing all her flaws and insecurities for all the world to see. She is so real, this is my obsession, one user posted. This is how it ought to be, with realness and conviction. Why is the holiday actress on everyone's lips? Winslet plays the raw and unrefined character of Mary Ann, Mare Sheehan, a detective who tries, by all means, to keep her life from falling apart while attempting to uncover a murder mystery. I really did find myself becoming incredibly immersed in this character, largely because of the fine details. I had to know because any sergeant detective investigating a community murder would have had to know those things too. The inspiration for her character came from the actress's father, which makes sense considering how rough and rugged Mare is. My dad actually reminds me quite a lot of Mare, to be honest, the actress shared. He basically moves like Mare and eats like Mare. Hollywood is known for chewing up stars and spitting them out, especially when that star is a female hitting the 40-year-old age mark. If they're not willing to get Botox or surgery to keep a commercially attractive figure, they are not welcome on the screen. However, Winslet seems to be following in the footsteps of the iconic Meryl Streep, embracing her body and not falling prey to Hollywood's insane beauty standard. Mayor of Eastwood is as real as it gets. Winslet strived to show herself in a natural light. You see those small wrinkles here and there? The production team had edited them out, and the confident actress demanded that they remove the effects and show her face in its natural form. No filters, no airbrush, no Photoshop. Just a woman the entire world can relate to on many scales. I'm like, guys, I know how many lines I have by the side of my eye. Please put them all back. If Kate had an Instagram account, it would probably be the most unfiltered one to ever exist because the actress's attitude right now is very much what you see is what you get. She wants you to see all the fat, the cellulite, the imperfections that make us all human, and she won't stop until Hollywood embraces it. In the same spirit, the actress fought for a scene where her bulgy bit of belly was edited out, telling the director, don't you dare. Winslet didn't want to show non-realistic body standards, playing the role of a hardcore cop who strives for honesty. Winslet was not about to compromise that trait now. You know, I, I tried very hard to be true to myself and, um, and to actually do the things that I thought would be challenging for me. Winslet's no-nonsense attitude is not only aimed at the editing team. The actress made it clear that she has no time for tabloids who ask her questions with no substance. At a Q&A session for The Hollywood Times, Winslet shut down a reporter who wanted the star's opinion on the Benefer romance rumors. You can't stop reading about Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, one of the statements read, to which Winslet fired back, What? No! I've never read about Jennifer in my life. What are these questions? Though she advocated for it, the actress is not looking forward to shooting another nude scene anytime soon. It's not even really an age thing, actually, she said. There comes a point where people are going to go, Oh, here she goes again. Winslet, who has always been considered one of Hollywood's gorgeous bombshells, struggled with body issues in the past. At just a young age of 19, like many child actors, the young Titanic star was often sexualized and left feeling as though there was a constant magnifying glass on her, searching for flaws. But even then, Kate saw the media's distasteful scrutiny for what it was. In my 20s, people would talk about my weight a lot, and I would be called to comment on my physical self. Well, then I got this label of being ballsy and outspoken. No, I was just defending myself. Winslet was shocked at the criticism she found on older articles about her, where the journalists were, quote, straight up cruel. Kate is not the only leading lady in Hollywood who seems to have taken a stand when it comes to matters concerning her body. Earlier this year, Pirate of the Caribbean's Kira Knightley announced that she would no longer agree to shoot intimate scenes if a man was directing it. 
Winslet, a boss woman at work, and also a superwoman at home. The actress is a mother to three little boys and married to a doting stay-at-home dad. His biggest priorities are taking care of their blended family and being a supportive life partner to Winslet. No, seriously, those are the most important factors in his life. If you Google Ned Rock and Roll, as formerly known, his description is nothing other than Kate Winslet's husband. He looks after us, especially me. I said to him earlier, like, Nettie, could you do something for me? He just went, anything. She shared, adding, he is an absolutely extraordinary life partner. Ned, who included Kate's last name as one of his middle names, is more than just a family man. Ned became Ned, who is quite an original personality. Um, he just decided at one point in his life to just change his name to Rock and Roll. So he, when I met him, his name was Ned Rock and Roll. <laughs> Though he was diagnosed with severe dyslexia, which makes it impossibly hard for him to read, the supportive husband still goes out of his way to help Kate read her lines. With all the attention his wife gets, you would think a shy and quiet Ned would be overwhelmed with the judgment that comes with being in the spotlight. But he takes it with a stride, like the true gentleman he is. With all the tough-as-nails energy that Kate has, Ned seems like the perfect opposite to balance out their relationship. He continues to bring calm in her life, especially when she's a little too hard on herself, like when she was uncertain about her character's morals and he was there to drive out her doubtful thoughts. In episode one, she's having sex on a couch. I said to my husband, am I okay with that? It is it all right that I'm playing a middle-aged woman who's a grandmother who does really make a habit of having one-night stands? He's like, Kate, it's great. Let her do it. Things weren't always dandy for the star, who hasn't been that lucky in love. The hopeless romantic had her heart broken three times before meeting the current man of her dreams. It all began with Stephen Tredry. Like many Hollywood stars, the pair met on the set of a show, Dark Season. Though they had a controversial 12-year age gap between them at the time, with Winslet being 28 and Stephen as young as 15, their love proved that, for some, age is nothing but a number. Their relationship lasted for a good five years, but they did not make it to exchanging their vows. Two years after the couple split, shortly before the Hollywood premiere of Titanic, Winslet received the most dreadful news. Stephen had passed away from bone cancer, and it was only fitting for a devastated Kate to miss the movie premiere and take the opportunity to say goodbye to her ex-lover. Winslet managed to pick up the pieces of her broken heart when she met her first husband, an indie film director who isolated Kate from her friends and family and constantly made her second-guess herself. Of course, the actress, who says it was love at first sight, could have never guessed the turn of events. I arrived and saw this rather glorious-looking blonde boy with fantastic blue eyes and I just went, damn, because I knew that was it and there was nothing either of us could do about it. The couple tied the knot that same year, but divorced three years later, shortly after having their firstborn. Twisted, toxic thing between us! It's finally finished! Winslet, who had lost control of her instinct during the marriage, was more than happy to have her freedom back when they called it quits. Just months after their divorce, Kate met her second husband, Sam Mendes. The short time frame between the two romances led many to believe that their relationship began as an affair. The couple married in 2003, instantly welcoming their son that same year. But after seven years of marriage and rumors of another woman in their relationship, the two went their separate ways. And well, you know all about her third marriage that seems to be going strong. It seems like Winslet is not only the lady hawk when the cameras are on, but she shares similar traits with her character in real life too. She does not take crap from anyone. She's unfiltered and all about wearing flaws proudly. You need breath to find your own voice and to use it mindfully. You need breath to sing and to dance and to find joy in a complex world. Help yourself be yourself. And listen, be the best version of your true self that you can be. And you own that. And nobody can take that away from you, ever. That's all the Kate Winslet news we have for today. But make sure you subscribe to the Rumor Juice channel for more of your favorite celebrity news. And of course, don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are. As always, we're very eager to see your opinion in the comments section below. And do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard, and we at Rumor Juice will make sure that you never get bored. Subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.